this is Nern Long here. Uh, this, as you can see, is Windows 8. It is running on my MacBook, late 2009 version. Uh, I installed it via Boot Camp. This is the first time I've ever used Boot Camp, actually. So it was also an experiment at the same time, along with it being Windows 8. Um, so anyway, I'll just go ahead and show you that it is indeed working. There's my magic mouse. It is also working. So now I'll log in. There's the start screen and Metro and its goodness or badness, depending on your opinion. And I'll just show you an app real quick. Possibly. Yep, there's the calendar app. Okay, we'll make it go away. Alright, and of course now let's get on to the desktop here. What most of us desktop users probably would like to see still. Um, memory usage, yeah, in the 40s. 40%-ish range, 40-50%. It's on 2 gigs of RAM. It's the original memory. Um, and I'll just show you 4.8 rating. Pretty good. Especially for a computer that's 2 years old. And with programs installed, etc., we're using about 30 gigs. The install of Windows 8 on 32 bits. This is 32 bit. Took about 10 gigs. I'll also show you that I have a clean device manager. It took me a little while to figure it out, but so there's your clean device manager. Nothing there with an exclamation point. Of course, upon installing Windows 8, half the drivers probably weren't there yet, and right click was kind of tricky because your magic mouse didn't work yet and the trackpad was only one click there was no multi-touch on it yet so you couldn't really right click with it either so I'd recommend using a USB mouse until you get things going unless you know the shortcuts around which I do but um, after getting boot camp installed and all the drivers installed there was still one driver and, and device manager that was not cooperating it was the coprocessor one uh, I had to put in the Snow Leopard disk, and I had to manually point Windows to the NVIDIA chipset folder, and then within that folder you're going to go to the SMU folder, and you just point it to that folder, and it installed the driver, and the coprocessor thing went away, and now I have a clean device manager. Uh, problems on the MacBook, uh, thus far what I have seen a couple of times intermittently today is for whatever reason it'll just out of nowhere do a hard freeze and the only way to get it out of, out of it is to shut down the machine and turn it back on I've done some fiddling around to see if I can fix it so so far it's, it hasn't done it again so we'll see if that it snapped out of it or not so anyway, this is Nerd Long and I approve this message and this is just showing you that yes Windows 8 can be installed on a MacBook late 2009 edition say bye bye